Good afternoon, everybody. It's me. It's the old Cappy Boy, and here we are with another good old energy drink because, you know, I guess I'm an energy drink channel, but no, I do everything. This is a uh, Baya Energy by Starbuckaroos. Probably can't see it because the camera's a bit tilted at the moment. That's because of the silly thing that I have it resting on is kind of breaking. Anyway, this is a mango guava. There's a lot of different colors right there. I looked, um... I looked at the Reddit energy drink thing, and some people said this wasn't so good, so we'll see. We'll see how I feel. It says coffee, or caffeine naturally found in coffee fruit, so I guess we'll be seeing some coffee fruit extract, at least in this. Maybe even straight up. This should be neat. 160 milligrams of caffeine per can, so that's not a bad bang for your buck. This can's about the same size as one of the uh, medium-sized Red Bulls. Um, flavored with other natural flavors, with antioxidant, vitamin C, and for immune support. So it is a sparkling energy drink, so I'm assuming it's kind of like a water, but flavored, and caffeine with a little hint of coffee. Probably won't taste that coffee too much. This is just weird, in my opinion. Like, all right, here's the mango, I guess, or is it the guava? I I'm gonna say it's a mango, because it's straight orange. Guava kind of is like a green and red and all that hint. Uh, but there's all these colors. Like, I don't know. Is that supposed to be a road? And then there's like blue and pink. And I, this 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 whole thing is a very strange looking. I, it looks like art. Modern art or something like that. I don't know. I don't like it, Starbucks. It looks weird. It's, it's just a gobbledy mess. All right, so buy an energy. Power your day with 160 milligrams of caffeine naturally found in the fruit of the coffee plant. Delightfully refreshing. Packed with fruity flavors and bubbles without any coffee flavor. So there it is. It's not going to taste like coffee. Taste how Starbucks does energy. Starbucks does energy in their coffees, their refreshers, their... Um, they have teas there, which are stash, but that's not really... Whatever. Uh, Starbucks Baya Energy is crafted with tropical mango juice and guava flavor to lift you lift you with some feel-good energy. So is Refresher dead? Those cans that were refreshers? I, I don't know. I guess they are. I haven't seen them in a while, so maybe they are. I have some posts about them from many years ago. Anyway, let's cover this. It's actually fruit juice in this. 10% fruit juice. Interesting. Serving size is one can. 90 calories, 0 grams fat, 10 milligrams of sodium, 23 grams total carbs, 23 grams of sugar. This includes 17 grams of added sugar, so there is a bit of difference there because there's probably fruit juice, and that brings its own soda. Or <laughs> sugar, rather. <clears throat> 0 grams of protein, 4 milligrams of calcium, 17 milligrams of potassium, and 90 milligrams of vitamin C, 100%. Ingredients are written on the blue in black ink, so it's really hard to read, so bear with me as I try to read it. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to just take it off the screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> Carbonated water, white grape juice. There's your, <laughs> there's your juice. White grape juice from concentrate cane sugar. Mango juice from puree. Oh, good. They actually have that. Uh, natural flavor, beta carotene for color, absorbic acid, vitamin C, coffee fruit extract, which I said was going to happen. Green coffee bean extract, didn't see that one coming though. And then citric acid. So, interesting how they, how are they going to keep the coffee f f flavor down? We'll find out. I brought old mason jar here. Let's open this baby up. Mm. I already saw from the spout of the can. Ooh, very orange. I was expecting it to be more yellow because from the spout, it looked more yellowy. Quite fizzy. It's almost as orange as the uh, can is. Mmm, quite a fragrant smell from, uh, you know, a few feet away that I am. Quite fruity. What kind of fruit? I could say mango, yeah, 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 yeah. I could totally see that. Let's have a let's have a closer smell. Ooh, but then you smell. Oh, that does not smell good up close. <laughs> the the coffee kind of, you know, the it's an herbal kind of scent from green coffee. It's not so much like you know roasted coffee out of the coffee pot or whatever, but 
Yeah, it doesn't smell so nice up close. Let's have a sip. Hmm. That's, that's, I'm shrugging here. Like, I, I really don't know what to get from, it's so weird. Like, first sip, just, you know, clean water kind of taste. Kind of nice, actually. Pretty refreshing. Maybe this is refresher just being rehashed. Because that's what it kind of reminded me. They had coconut water in it, though, so maybe not so much. Um, in the middle part of the flavor, you get a distinct fruity taste. Is it mango? I guess... I guess, like, it's it tastes like a very unripe mango, though. Like, you got it, and you didn't really know when you can eat a mango, so you, like, bought it from the store that day, and it wasn't fully ripe yet, but you ate it, and it... I mean, it tasted sort of fruity, but it was just a little off. Yeah, that's how the Fruity Kings... And it's, it's kind of like hugging the sides of it that water taste is the being dominant one and the fruity kind of flavors off to the sides then in the aftertaste and in the ending into the aftertaste it tastes like tea like green tea kind of thing and i suppose that's from the green coffee extract or all that stuff which it said it wouldn't really taste like that and I've had, you know, coffee fruit in other kind of beverages. I think by Bubbles was very notorious for that. And that did a horrible job covering that, like, coffee fruit extract. This does a little bit better job. At least the fruit kind of lingers a bit to keep that sort of herbalish taste down. Let me have another sip just to... And there's kind of, like, an acidic taste just like like electrons orbiting all this like you'll get little pangs of citrus as well around it but it, it's like weird is this really that like i don't know who would want to buy this honestly the only people who'd want to buy this i think are like the super starbucks fans that like need to have everything starbucks but still if you want some energy from starbucks get their coffee it's actually pretty good coffee this is no, um, I guess it's playing on that that has antioxidants and all that nonsense, but I'd skip this, man. I, I, I really don't see, it's not really an enjoyable flavor. The mango is just not really there. I guess there's a little bit of guava hanging around, but it kind of gets absorbed with the mango taste. And then there's a weird aftertaste. It's not that nice, so I, I would not say drink this. And it, yeah, it definitely reminds me of their refresher, but the old refreshers with that were fruity. So I don't know. I, I, I'd say skip Baya Energy saying, say Baya. <laughs> um, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this like a rusty sink that you have to scrub at your job out of red because... You don't really want to do it, but, you know, the results might be nice, but you still have to scrub the rust out. Yeah.